We're speaking to you from the stars dressing room of the Avalon Ballroom here in La Crosse. The date, Friday, September 27th, and this is the date that the teenagers of the Cooler region have been waiting for for quite a while. The star on our Pepsi-Cola teen party tonight, the capital rock and roller, Mr. Gene Vincent. How are you, Gene? Just fine, sir. How are you? Fine, and welcome to La Crosse. Is Thank this you. the uh, first time that you've been around uh, La Crosse, yeah. the Cooley region? Uh-huh, sure mm -hmm. is. Where do you hail from, Gene? Uh, well, right now I live in Dallas, Texas. I see. You originally from uh, Virginia. Norfolk, Virginia? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a lot of hopefuls in the business, that there are a lot of hopefuls trying to get into the business at the present time. And uh, do you have any advice for any of the youngsters who would be buying a guitar and wanting to break into the big time? It's a hard life. It's a hard life. I can well believe that. You've certainly done very good, Gene. Did you record for anybody prior to the Capitol label? No, sir. Then your first record was Bebopalula? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. and what a fabulous hit that was. Did that go well over the million mark, I'm sure? Yes, sir. I sure did. Mm -hmm. Certainly was a great one. Uh, the Blue Caps are with us in the dressing room here. Uh, could you name them off for us, Gene? Mr. Johnny Meeks, lead guitar. Mm -hmm. Bobby Jones plays the bass. Bobby? Dickie Harrell plays the drums. Dickie? Bubba Facenda sings lead. And uh, this sings tenor. <laughs> I mean, Paul, Paul here sings tenor. <laughs> Looks like a very talented group here, and I know the teenagers are going to really have a wonderful time here tonight. What about your latest Capitol release, A Lot of Lovin', Gene? Uh, do you have any sales figures on it from Capitol yet? Uh, about three quarters. I see. And as far as we're concerned here in the Cooler region, it's going to go over the top, too. It's number three on our hit parade charts. I understand you're uh, going overseas very shortly. Yes, sir. I'm going to Australia and Hawaii. I see. How long of a parade will that be? Uh, two weeks. In fact, it's my next to the last date. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow night's the last date I play. This is your first uh, overseas venture? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Um, one question here, Gene, that many teenagers have asked me about. What is your personal opinion of rock and roll? Is it going to stay? Are ballads going to come back real strong and knock it out? Well, you just wait six months and see if it ain't still here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm inclined to agree with you there, too, because they said it was going out about a year ago and it's still as strong as ever. This uh, may be a very personal question. Many teenagers have asked me to ask you this one, too. What is your opinion of Elvis Presley? Well, sir, he's a real fine guy, but his show is his show, and I don't do anything that he does. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, well, I mean, uh, he's Elvis Presley, and I don't want to get tagged as mm -hmm. an imitator, so I don't do any, anything he does. That's a very good answer there. You're certainly staying right on the borderline and not committing yourself either way. Uh, another question. Uh, you made a motion picture with Jane Mansfield for MGM, The Girl Can't Help It. Uh, what type of time did you have on that? Was this the first movie that you ever made, Gene? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't care for it too much. I mm -hmm. didn't. Do you have any other movie commitments coming up in the very near future? Well, we've turned down a couple, but I don't, I don't particularly see. care for well, it. With the very steady tour that you're on right now, I, I don't see how you uh, can find enough hours in the day. Where were you last night? Uh, Milwaukee. Uh -huh. yeah. And then, uh, of course, on Saturday night you'll be playing where? Um... Fargo. Fargo, Fargo, North Dakota. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday you take off for overseas. Yes, right? sir. That's really a lineup there. How old are you, Gene? I'm 20. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy your uh, your brief visit at the Light Hole Piano Company today, signing autographs? Sure did. It was real nice. Of it was certainly a wonderful crowd, and the teenagers enjoyed it. Do you have any TV appearances coming up in the near future? I suppose they had the Ed, Ed Sullivan show coming up in uh, October. Let's I'd see. be afraid to say what date. The teenagers will be very happy to hear that, and they'll be looking forward to you on that. Well, uh, I know that you're very pressed for time here because the show goes on in about 10 minutes. We want to thank you for talking with us, Gene. Thank you, sir. Thank you.